Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. In a recent clear jelly stamper haul from Nail Dot Supplies, I purchased some Christmas stamping plates and this one is just amazing. So in this video I'll be swatching and reviewing Clear Jelly Stamper CJS C29 Christmas Express. As always you can find information on where to purchase from in the description box below. Before we get started please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification turned on and please also like this video. These really do help out my channel, thank you. So I have my scraper and a stamper holder which has a clear jelly stamper stamp head in it. This has become my new best friend. I have four coloured nail tips which I'll be swatching onto. With the new plates that have arrived, they also have the help guide in them as well. And I have to say, this will always be on hand when I use CJS C29. It was just it's so extremely helpful for me. For the first swatch I used a grey nail tip along with three stamping polishes, a red, a white and a black. For the first layer of Santa I used the red. Now for all of the layers I will tidy up the excess before stamping down. I'll then go in with the white. This Santa comes together really nicely. I'll then finish off the outline in black and to be honest it doesn't matter that it's not quite lined up. I used this image in my Manny, he is so cool and I know that he'll be used quite a bit. For the next swatch I'll be using a blue nail tip along with two stamping polishes, a white and a blue. So with these word designs I used the help guide a lot. To make sure that I had all of the layers in the right place, I picked one point on the design. For this one, it was the snowflake hanging down. So I'll start with the blue. Now, once I'd stamped this down, I sort of knew that I would have to maybe redo it again. I then stamped the snowflakes in white, which didn't stamp down well at all my heating was on so off camera I then decided to redo the whole design again which looks so much better and this is a really really cool image for the next swatch I'm going to use a green nail tip along with a light green and a dark green stamping polish now with these words and the help guide I picked out for example the box and what words needed to be in that box so watching needs to be in that box again I found this really helpful for me so I'll then come in with the light green first for the words most of these word type of images I placed the words down first and then added the lines there's only one that I couldn't do that with I'll then come in with the darker green and add the lines and I think this is another image that I used from my Manny but it is a really nice image I love the font and I think it's going to be popular for the next swatch I'll be using a white nail tip and two stamping polishes a red and a green I'll start with the red for the joy and bow and then I'll go in with the green for the wreath I love that all of these images are so small. Now you could even for this type of image just use the same colour for both layers. It would still look really really pretty but I do really like the different colours and greens and reds are not colours that I would normally put together but I really do like this. And then here they are all together. So let's move on to the photo swatches and Manny that I have created from Clear Jelly Stamper CJS C29 Christmas Express. Clear Jelly Stamper CJS C29 Christmas Express is absolutely packed full of amazing designs of which I've taken 47 swatches which is massive. However, some of them have two or more images on them. So there is 
so much more than 47 images on this plate. This just has so much to offer, it's amazing. I will say that I did get annoyed. It was more about where to place the layers of the words and the really, really small designs. It actually took me three different days of stamping for the whole of CJSC 29. But once I'd figured out the tips that I gave in the video section, like picking out certain points, it did make it much, much easier. Something else I will say is that some of the gaps on the words and lines are teeny, teeny, tiny. I was like, how in the world am I meant to get that in there? <laughs> but for me, this is just an amazing Christmas stamping plate. And to be honest, I only purchased it because I wanted the reindeer or stag's heads at the bottom of the plate. It did make me laugh when I actually added this plate up onto my Instagram. Somebody commented that the train looked really cool and I was like, there's a train? Talking of the train, I have swatched that going up the pop stick. If I was to put that into a mani, I would probably put it across a couple of the nails. For me, out of all of the four clear jelly stamper stamping plates I've purchased, this has to hands down be my favorite. And if you wanted to purchase just one, I would say this one. There's just so much choice from like all of the beautiful words, the reindeers, Santa Claus, the train, the floral and tree designs, snowflakes, there's even baking items. I think the only thing I would say that I maybe would have liked to have seen would be some presents. But other than that, it is just packed. When it came to create the money, I just didn't know what images I wanted to use. But having a plate like this in my collection, it will work so well with any other Christmas stamping plates. And I honestly can't wait to create another. It's definitely going to create my Christmas money. I just need to sit down and work out what that's actually going to be. For the Manny, I decided on a naughty and nice Manny. It's something that I have never ever done before. So I used a shimmery rosy gold and a shimmer burgundy gel polish on my silicon hand. I think I used six or maybe even seven different colors of stamping polish, but I absolutely love this Manny. And it did take some time to add all of the different colors and layers, but I would so do this Manny again. I just love it. it, it's just so beautiful. I don't usually do this amount of stamping in one Manny but this has to be my most favourite money of the year so far. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days, along with the money and what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my post and you like them, please give them a like as well. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on Clear Jelly Stamper CJSC 29 Christmas Express. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below. I love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping. <laughs> Bye.